That was the day that my heart broke when my DJI flew into the water. I didn't have any insurance, but I still reached out to DJI to see if they could do anything for me, and they responded, and that's what today's video is gonna be about. And before anyone roasts me about losing the Neo in the water, especially because the manual specifically says not to do it, I know, but I was, I was having fun. I got carried away. I, I made a mistake and I flew it over a little bit of water, too close to water, and stuff happens. I lost it. But I know. I know it's not what you're supposed to do. So I messaged DJI and I say, hey, this is what happened. I lost my drone in the water. Is there anything that you can do for me? And they said, you need to submit a flyaway case. And I said, can I do that even though I don't have the insurance? And they said, submit the case. We'll gather all the details and we'll make a decision on what the next steps are. So I'm like, all right, I go on the DJI website. I fill out the little flyaway case form and hit submit. The next day, I get a follow up from DJI saying, hey, we need all this other information from you. Even though I described exactly what happened in detail, they still wanted to pull the information off of this controller. And I was like, what information? The drone is gone. Well, basically, there's like a back way to transfer your flight records and all these files that are stored on the controller that I couldn't even see. And I thought for sure without the drone in hand, without a screen recording, there was no way they were going to be able to get anything meaningful. They were able to recover that footage of the crash. They can recover what controls you are using at the time of the crash, the location, everything. So no matter what you say, they're still able to see in great detail exactly what happened. And for me, this was a huge win because when the Neo crashed in the water, it was from when I switched modes from normal to sport and the DJI lost connection and crashed into the water. So I thought, surely DJI is gonna be able to see this information and be like, you know what? It was our fault and we're gonna send you a new drone. But of course, that's not what happened. DJI responded and they said, hey, it looks like according to the flight records in the videos, you were not only flying in the wrong environment, over water, but also there was strong winds during this time. You hit return to home and that's what caused the crash. And I thought, wait a minute, there's no way I hit return to home. I, I don't think I ever even used that function once during my whole time having the Neo. And so I responded to that email. And I said, no, this isn't what happened. I'm telling you, I lost connection when I hit from normal to sport. And they basically said, well, we're sorry that happened, but the best we can do is give you 15% off of your next purchase. And this time when I responded, I was, I was just so upset because I felt like they got the analysis wrong. I felt like, yes, I did bear some of the blame for flying in the wrong environment, but I also genuinely felt like the controller did bug out and the Neo did lose connection and it did fall in the water. And when I wrote them the email back, I basically said, hey, I, I think I should get the Neo for free, a replacement drone but i do understand that that might not be possible but i just feel like 15 percent is so far from what it should be like it's just not right and i would love if you guys can escalate this case to a manager to someone who is willing to help me basically i just pled my case please please reconsider can you do anything better for me and this time when dji responded they actually didn't send me an email back but they called me and the customer service rep was like hey, we understand that you don't feel that this resolution met your needs, but unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to send you a new DJI Neo for free. And I was like, man, this just sucks, you know? I was just telling him, like, ah, I'm just upset because I want, I want a new drone. And he said, we understand, would you accept 40% off? So at this point, I'm like, whoa, I just gotta jump from 15 to 40. And I said, is there, <laughs> I shouldn't have tried to squeeze them, but I was like, can you guys do any better than that? And they said, no, 40 is the max that we can do. And I said, you know what? I'll take it. I'm still grateful. You guys are really gonna help me replace the drone and just make it a lot easier for me. And they said, okay, great. We'll send you an invoice. And 20 minutes later, they sent me an invoice for a discounted Neo. And I was like, yes, <laughs> yes, dude. I paid the invoice and DJI literally shipped the new drone out the same day. And here we are two days after that, and we have a new DJI Neo. So even though I was disappointed with DJI's initial customer service response, they really came through for me. They found a solution that I was happy with, and I don't know, I'm just really excited that I get to fly again. So 
Thank you so much, DJI. And if you remember my first video on the Neo, I didn't really get to explore it that much before it crashed. So now we're in downtown Houston. I figured why not pull out the controller, get some shots with the Neo, fly around, and uh, hopefully not crash it this time. Yeah, I definitely am stoked to have the Neo back. And I also forgot to mention that DJI, um, they also called me after this got delivered just to make sure that I was functioning properly. And I'm like, dang, you guys are really going above and beyond just to make sure that I'm good. So I think they got a lifelong customer for me, at least in this experience. But yeah, if you like the drone content and the Neo content, you might want to stick around because I'm going to make more videos with this. I feel like I'm just getting warmed up. I'm just learning how to fly a drone. So you guys are coming along with me on this journey. But yeah, that was pretty much all that I have for you guys this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's video and I will see ya next week.